Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen the Redux library actual implementation, how the execution will be going on. So we have written a sample library, the Redux code. So how the Redux code will be executed. Now if you try to see here, so the, the create store accepts actually normally accepts the two parameters. That is nothing but what we can say is counter reducer and also the preloaded state. Okay, so normally if you do if you don't give the preloaded state also it will take it in the Redux library. But normally it will take what it will take is take two arguments. That is nothing but first one is reducer and next one is the preloaded state, the initial state, what you will be having. However, what we can say is create store can also take one more argument. So that means which is used to customize the store's abilities and give a new powers to this one. So that means what I can say is this create store also takes another third parameter which gives the store a new powers. So what I can say is normally the Redux stores are customized using a concept called as store enhancer. So that means the create store we can customize this create store using the store enhancer. Something like what we can say is a store enhancer is something like a special version of the create store um, which adds a wrapper function. So wrapper around the wrapper around, around the create store. So what we can say is by using this enhanced store, we can change how the store behaves. The store, how it behaves, we can change the beha behavior of that store and we can give our own version of the dispatch get state and subscribe functions we can give it instead of the originally how it will be executing the get state subscribe and subscribe so we can provide our own version of the dispatch so how the dispatch should behave so we can give our own uh, version of our the dispatch thing how it will work so now in this tutorial what we'll try to do is how we can implement our own version of uh, dispatch and the also the new state we'll try to see so now in this tutorial so this is the thing right so what i will try to do is i will go back to the Redux library okay this is the main.js and now we do implement this Redux thing so here I will be using the Redux.create store as I already told you that the create store will take the another parameter that is nothing but the store enhancer the store enhancer is nothing but it will create a wrapper around the create store so that the methods what will be useful in the create store the dispatch the get state the subscribe we can implement our own version so first what I will try to do is normally what we can do is so this enhance, enhancers where it will be very useful is for example in your application you are dispatching an action okay let's assume that you are dispatching some couple of actions before executing each dispatcher of the action you want to do some logging functionality let's assume that so for every dispatch whenever you are calling store.dispatch you need to execute some particular type of code so that after executing that particular type of code the dispatch should occur okay so then how we can implement this one in the create store so now i will try to show it so for example here i am creating a something like new dispatch okay so this is the new dispatch so now what i will try to do i will create a function this is this is nothing but what i can say is this is a new function only okay so we can assume that it is a function only so what i will try to do it's a function new dispatch okay so we are we are creating our new dispatch so now this one will take the parameter we'll have the parameter create store so we'll get the parameter create store now here you will be having a function so you will return the function so this function will be having three parameters that is nothing but what i can say reducer and the preloaded state and another one is the last one is the enhancers so we know that enhancers so we need to pass this enhancers also and now let's create the store here so we know that using this create store so which is available as a parameter so i am pass, passing this these things preloaded state and also the enhancers so now we got the store now i am creating a function new dispatch okay so new dispatch so here what i will try to do so here we will try to do constant result is equal to store dot dispatch i am dispatching the action and with that so here new dispatch will be getting an action here okay so now what i can do here action now here what i can do i can do whatever the thing so here i will be writing console hello hello world so here you can perform hello world 
perform logging okay so now i can return the result i can return the result so now i am dispatching an action i am doing some extra work i am returning the result so now here what i will try to do so here i will try to return so that store functionality and for the dispatch thing what i will try to do i will try to return the new dispatch okay you are able to understand right so what what is the thing we are doing so there is the reason i have implemented the redux here actually so in the redux.js if you try to see here this is the redux.js if you try to see this redux.js okay in this redux.js what we have done we have created a dispatch function and we are overriding this dispatch function using this new dispatch and we are assigning the dispatch to the new dispatch so that whenever we are calling the dispatch here wherever we are calling the dispatch here instead of executing the dispatch it will execute this new dispatch in this new dispatch we are dispatching the whole functioning and also we are doing some extra work here this is the overwriting the create store functionality dispatch functionality in the create store using this enhancers okay so now what we have did here so we are creating the store and reducer we are passing and also the state we are passing and also we are passing the overriding functionality these are called as the store enhancers in some places we will call it as a middlewares also before executing the create store the middlewares will be executed so this is the new dispatch thing now let's try to see the output so if i click on this one so now if i click on this one i am able to get the counter and if i click here see the dispatch is functioning hello world perform logging so whenever you are performing a dispatch thing so you are executing the extra functionality okay so this is the beauty of the enhancers now whenever we are trying to get state we can also add some extra function some extra state to pass along with the original state so how we can do that one so let's implement the same thing so i will implement the same thing the same functionality but here i will write new state this is the new state and you will be having the same thing store and here you will be writing the new state okay the so new state what i will try to return so here i will write instead of returning this one so that is the reason i have explained you the functionality how we can write our own redux functionality so here i will be sending the store dot get state I will, I will be getting this case and I will be sending something like hi hello world okay so this is the extra state data I am sending so now what I can do here so get state so whoever will be calling the get state please execute the new state methodology now we need to add this new enhancer another new enhancer to the redux dot create store as we already know that it will accept only one enhancer here so now it now what we need to do is we need to combine the two store enhancers so here we are having the two store enhancers here we are having one enhancer and also this is another one enhancer so now we need to combine these two enhancers so in order to combine these two enhancers what we need to do is we need to use the compose method which is available in the redux library so here what i can do constant enhancers is equal to redux dot compose you can use this compose and you can pass the parameters so here whatever then how many enhancers you have you can pass it new state this is the enhancer right so these are the new enhancers now i can pass this combining enhancers to here now let's try to see the output if i try to see the output now see the state is appended with the hello world what we are having here we are sending only the counter zero as the new state but when we are trying to get the state so what we are getting along with the counter zero we are also getting an extra data that is nothing but high hello world from where we are getting this data so this get state whenever you are calling this get state so enhancer will execute execute this method why because the get state we have assigned a new functionality to execute this function so now it will get all the data uh, all the state data which is which has given and also the extra data which we have given here so this is the functionality it is executing so it is bypassing the code so here you will be able to see so that means what we have did so we have written the functionality in a such a way that the dispatch function we have overridden the dispatch functionality using the enhancer and also we have overridden the state functionality whenever we are adding the get state we are passing an extra data to the state functionality okay this is how store enhancers work in the redux library so why i why i why i explained you the redux uh, inside the library 
so we are overriding the functionalities which are present in the redex library itself so now this is the redex library what we have written our code but basically in the redex library will be available in the redex.bin.js the basic redex library if you want to open that if you want to override the dispatch functionality state func get state functionality or subscribe functionality if you want to override means so this is the way you will be overriding using the enhancers okay so this is the concept of the store enhancers so hope you understood about the store enhancers normally we will be not using uh, daily daily to daily use in the about the uh, of the store enhancers but basically we will be coming uh, extra what we can say is another concept that is nothing but the middleware middleware is nothing but the store enhancers only this is another another type of enhancers only so before ex dispatching the action so before dispatching the action what i can what i wanted is before dispatching the action you want to execute some functionality so that after that functionality executions you want to dispatch so nothing but the enhancer concept only so that is the thing we are going to implement in the next video so the using the middleware concepts so that is nothing but the writing the enhancers only so writing a cleaner way of writing the enhancers first you need to know about the store enhancer the middleware is also one type of enhancers so to in order to execute the asynchronous logic these things we will be able to we will be using these enhancers so in the next video we'll try to see about the middleware concepts and then after we will see about the redux thing this async technology async terminology how we can implement the async logic in the redux concept redux library so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you